Hello everyone, today we're going to be making a tea cosy and um, we're going to be using Wonder Knit self striping yarn um, it's a DK weight, it's the first time I've ever used it so hopefully it'll uh, go through the machine with no issues but it's got a quite a pretty um, design on it which I thought was perfect for a good old fashioned tea cosy for this project you're going to need a yarn needle a crochet hook a scissors possibly a loom pick and a pom-pom maker of whatever design you use to put a pom-pom on the top. So let's begin. We're going to cast on and do five rows of waist yarn. I'm using a corresponding white yarn here. Doing an under over and under and over cast on, leaving a long tail as usual. Make sure that catches and then under and over, under and over, all the way around. in the centre tension hole and five rows of waist yarn. Cut off a long tail and throw it into the middle of the machine. Now we get our main yarn and we're going to do 72 rows in the main colour and it's going to be interesting to find out how this self striping yarn works out. So put a long tail in again into the centre tension hole, zero o'clock and 72 rows. Holding these two together until it catches. Take a little care on the first round until everything beds in and you can see that the yarn is flowing nicely and then we'll just whiz around and do 72 rows and I will fast forward through this and see you close to the end of 72 rows. See you in a bit. So this is our finished project, fresh off the loom. So we're going to gently stretch it out, as you do with all our knitting projects. It's actually looking quite nice, and it went through the machine with no problems whatsoever that I could uh, ascertain. So you can see like a kind of a flowery effect there, and which is quite nice. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to seal up both ends here. So we need to have the finishing tail on the left hand side. What we need to do now with our crochet hook is to pick up these stitches here starting with this one and we grab that one, that green one there, that's why we've got a different colour so we can easily see them, I'm not the best with crochet, and pull them through. And then we go to that one, and pull that through, and that one, and pull that through, and we'll go all the way along this end of the work and seal it off. So I'll see you when I get to the end which could be some time. Zigzag and zigzag all the way, picking up one stitch and putting it through.
pull the tail through and seal at the end. Now what we need to do is remove the waist yarn. Now one side is trickier than the other. I'm not sure which side I've got first. So this looks like it's the tricky side so we'll start with the easy side. And I like to reuse my waist yarn because I know it's five rows so I'll just bundle it up and I'll keep it to one side and I know it's a five row, uh, five row piece of waist yarn which I can reuse. There we go. Yep, that to one side for reuse another time. And there's our nice, nice eat, neat end there. Okay, so I'm going to remove the waist yarn off the other side and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so this is our finished length. Seamed up one end and seamed up the other end. Uh, we need to put our yarn, um, feed it through and hide it inside. I'll do that in a minute. But if we fold it in half. What we need to do now is to stitch up uh, both sides of the tea cosy starting on the right hand side where the spout is one and a half inches at the bottom leaving a two inch gap stitching up then the two and a half inches at the top on the left hand side stitch one and a half inches at the bottom leaving a three inch gap for the handle and then stitching one and a half inches to the top so we're cutting off a length of yarn and we're going to do a little bit of mattress stitch and then we'll tie in all the loose ends so easy peasy starting off for my little teapot, um, inch and a half on both sides. This is the handle side, this is the spout side. So. Too worried about finishing it off super super neat here at the moment because I'm going to be um, leaving this tail of yarn on here for a moment and we'll find out why a bit later. I'll just tuck that in there for a moment, keep it out of the way. So this side we need to do an inch and a half up again because my little teapot there is an inch and a half up from the bottom. really matter about being overly neat at the top here because at the next uh, stage you'll see why. What we are going to do next is grab the yarn that we had left over and in an ad hoc fashion because it doesn't have to be done to any particular formula we're going to thread that back on our yarn needle and what we're going to do is we're just going to do across the top in a, a running stitch on my running stitch making sure we got both layers you haven't got to be too um too fussy about this okay to make sure I'm not in the camera there so you can see a running stitch across the top there catching both layers of the uh, of the wool at the moment it looks like a mini hat but um, you will see now in a, in a sec when it comes together hopefully 
she says. Okay, and went into the corner. Here we go. Now that. Now what we do? We might get the teapot out of the way. Is we just pull it in like that. Okay. And we are have formed a little gallery area. Don't pull it too tight because it can snap. It depends on the uh, strength of your of your yarn. And I'm just gonna put a little knot to tie in it because we'll be putting a nice bobble on this. And I call it a bobble, a pom pom. So you won't really see. Um, the stitches anyway, it's just to hold it in place. And one more for luck. And a lot tight off. And we'll do another knot just to tie it off. And really, it is like a mini bobble hat or a mini beanie. But there we go. Now we can trim that off. And the next stage is to make a little pom pom. Now I've got my little pom pom maker. Um, I dare say you've got uh, the pom pom makers that, um, that you like as well. But what I'll do now is I'll run a little pom pom up. And attach it to the to the um, tea cosy, and we'll try it on our little teapot, and we'll see what we've got. But that's it so far. Okay, back in a moment. The next step is to make a pom pom, and I've got a small pom pom maker here, which is uh, is a little bit tricky to use this one, I have to say, but. Um, it's fine, I'll, I'll hold it and you just wind, you know you know the technique yourself, you just wind and wind and wind it. Um, and it's a bit tricky because I'm just trying to show you on the camera. But what I'll do now is I'll wind, um, wind it all up and I'll come back and then show you as I uh, trim it and tie it and put it all together. Because I'm sure it's going to be very boring just to watch me winding a pom-pom for the next few minutes. I finished uh, winding my pom-pom onto the little pom pom thing in the jig and now it's uh, time to clip it together and hopefully get a half decent pom pom definitely need a new scissors good grief hallelujah so I have a piece of yarn I did have a piece of yarn which goes down here now, through the middle, and we'll tie the pom-pom off, and I have to say the pom-pom is actually looking really pretty, and we'll tie it tight, obviously not too tight to snap the yarn, it be a disaster, it had bits of wool everywhere, and we'll take these off now. And hopefully we've got some sort of a pom to go on top. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. There we go. Move those bits and bobs out of the way. Give it a bit of a shake. Oh, that's not too bad at all. So we trim up the pom. Decided to show you the pom actually going on the tea cosy. So same as you do it if you were doing it onto a hat. Um, on the top there, feed that through. And then with the other side. I'm actually quite pleased with this choice of yarn. It's, it's a little thin as it's only a DK weight, but um, it's quite it's quite um, it's quite nice, the pattern's quite quite sweet. And it was reasonable, it wasn't a, an expensive yarn at all. So now I'm going to uh, tie a knot just to hold it in place. Just do a couple of knots to secure it. 
Trim it off. And there you go. Isn't that cute? So here we go. I don't remember which side is which. Oh, perfect. Oh, that is so sweet. Look at that. And that's the first time I've tried it on my little tea cosy. My tea cosy on my. There you go. Look at that. I hope you try it. The, 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 the combinations and, and the, the the things you could try on it are fantastic. I have loads of ideas, but I just wanted to run through a basic one using um, a nice little basic basic pattern. And it seems to fit my little six inch teapot to a T. Thanks for watching. Bye.